Hey everyone, I'm Mackenzie. I teach fifth grade in Northern California. Welcome to my virtual classroom. If you're new here, I do upload new teacher tips every week. So if you're interested, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up so it can reach even more teachers. So last year I was actually teaching second grade. So when we first went virtual in the spring, I had this super small setup thinking that this would be a very temporary situation. So I was sitting on a really uncomfortable chair. I was just in front of my closet door and really just making the most of what I had at the time. Then the plan was that I would be teaching fifth grade so I had packed up my whole classroom and then it was moved over to the school where I was going to teach fifth grade at but families were offered a virtual school option this year and so they needed more virtual teachers so then I became a virtual school teacher for my district so that's where I am now. I have a classroom right now that is filled with boxes I never have been fully set up and so I'm really just working from home this year. And because I live in a pretty small apartment, I really wanted to create a space that was comfortable and functional. So I'm really excited to show you around my virtual classroom setup. We started school a couple months ago. I finally feel like it's pretty much complete. And since spring, it has been a big change. I've gotten some things that have made virtual teaching a lot easier. So I'm excited to show you around a little bit and let's get started. So first, some of the main things in my setup that I use every day are my school computer, so that's where I Zoom with my students, and then I have my personal computer, and that's really helpful to see the student's point of view. And then I have my document camera, which has been super helpful during lessons, and then the drawing tablet, which I use for my online interactive whiteboards. And then I have my coffee, because that helps me get through every day. So this is my main computer, so that's really what I am on all day, and everything's connected to it. It's where I first go on to Zoom so I can see my class, so it's my really my best friend this year. And then I have my personal computer here, which I really just use more like a monitor. I know other teachers have monitors, but I just log into this computer, and then I'm able to see all my students on Zoom just so when I'm on Zoom and I can only see those five kids, I can now see my whole class and then you can really see what's going on because you'll see little siblings running around and dogs, you never know what your kids are going to have up on their screen. So that's really just to monitor my students and to monitor the chat easier. Everything's connected to my main computer, like I said. So this is my drawing tablet, which has been super useful because I was using whiteboards back in spring and to hold it up to my students, it just was harder to see. And since I've been using the interactive whiteboards like Jamboard or the Zoom whiteboard, this has just made it a lot easier. So it comes with this little stylus and then when you just draw on it, whatever whiteboard you have, then that will just show up and then my students can for sure see it because that's what's sharing to them on their screen. So my document camera is plugged into my main computer. And I love having this because it makes me feel like I am back in my real classroom. So it's been a total game changer for virtual teaching this year. So I just have to plug it into my computer and then I can jump between my face and the document camera when I'm on Zoom with my students. So if I open up Zoom, then my students will see my face and then I can just click and switch to the camera. And I really like using it because I can put like my books underneath and my students can actually follow along and see the pictures a little better when I'm doing read aloud since that's just what's being shared with them on the screen. So that's been really great. I'm also excited because I can now do art projects really easily rather than holding them up to the Zoom camera and trying to do folding and art projects in the air. So over summer, I got this cart off of Craigslist for only $10. So I've been wanting one of these carts for a while, so I was super excited when I found it. Um, it. You can get them at Target or Michaels for about $30, but again, check Craigslist because you'll never know what you'll find. Um, I've just been using it to hold all my teacher supplies. So I have like my colored pencils and my stapler, um, markers, and then down here I have my read aloud books. I also keep my chime for my classroom. I still use that. I mainly use it for mindful minutes with my students every once in a while. And then some of my curriculum can fit. So it's been really handy. It doesn't take up a lot of space in my apartment. So I really like it for that reason. Then I also keep all of my snacks up here too. So I have my water, 
my coffee. I love having my French press here. It keeps my coffee hot all day so I can just keep refilling very caffeinated all the time. <laughs> and then I have um, my Trader Joe's dark chocolate almonds. If you haven't tried these, these are my favorite go-to chocolate snack. And yeah, so I've really enjoyed having this. It's been very helpful. If you haven't picked up on it, turquoise is my favorite color. And then right over here, I have my planner and my notebooks and my paper for my printer. So my printer actually stays underneath my desk. And so that's just kind of hidden and out of the way. I really don't use it too much since I'm mainly using digital, but it's nice to have it there too. So yeah, having some extra storage in an apartment that doesn't have a lot of space, I really like having this cart here. So since I'm sitting all day, I also really wanted to invest in a good chair. So last spring I was sitting in a super uncomfortable chair. It was just this white foldable one. And so I thought it was worth the investment to get in a comfortable chair. I got this one off of Wayfair. I actually got my chair and my desk off of Wayfair. They were $100 each. This one is great because it just gives some extra back support. It's adjustable and it can spin. And so it's just a lot more comfortable since I am sitting in this space all day. And if you notice behind me, my laptop is also on a laptop stand. I got that for $20 off of Amazon. And that just helps with my posture too. So having this chair and having my laptop up a little bit just helps with my posture so that my back's not hurting all day. And then I also keep my yoga mat close by as a visual reminder that I should probably take some stretch breaks and then it's there for me when I actually do that. So that's really handy to have over here too. So I also wanted to share just some extra little accessories that have also been helpful during virtual teaching. They were all around $20, so not too expensive. The first one is my wireless Bluetooth headset. So I did consider getting AirPods, but honestly, these were $20. They were on sale on the Skull Candy website and they do a great job. They work just fine. I really appreciate that they're wireless just so that when I get up and do the brain breaks with my students and I'm moving and jumping, then I don't have to worry about an extra cord connected to my computer because that's just an accident waiting to happen. So those work great. I also have a condenser mic so what i really like about this is the fact that i live in a really small apartment it usually picks up the noise of my neighbors like you can hear people talking and walking around sometimes and what's cool about a condenser mic is it just picks up the noise directly in front of it so it'll just pick up my voice when i want to record read alouds and that really blocks out all that extra background noise and that just plugs into my computer and i got this one off of ebay so that worked out nicely. And then this is the USB-C adapter. So I have so many more devices this year um, with my drawing tablet and my dot cam. And honestly, they all use USB ports. So this just gives me some extra USB ports. And then also on the newer Macs, they don't even have the USB ports anymore. They have the USB-C adapter. So because of that, I can just plug this in and still use all my devices that have USB cords. And right up here, I have my desk lamp and that's right above my computer. And so that when I'm on Zoom with my kids, it just brightens up my face, which is nice. Um, my apartment doesn't have a lot of natural light. So that just gives more lighting in this corner of my classroom. And then that's sitting right on top of my Ikea bookshelf with all of my books and my mentor texts and everything just so that they're right in my workspace and easy to access. So that concludes is the virtual classroom tour. I would love to know your favorite part of your virtual classroom. And if you are teaching virtually this year, I do have a playlist on my channel of all my teacher tips and tricks and some games you can play with your students. So be sure to check that out and I will see you next week. Bye everyone.